Hello there, my name is Chris Palmer. In today's how to get backlink and redirect backlink video. <laughs> I don't like that. Let's try that again, right? I have to be quiet though because I got my my tenants are here. My uh family's right here. Like if you go through this wall, if you saw that, if you see it on the map, if you've seen me before, I've showed you the two properties that I have, and then the, but the way the building is, it's right here. It's through this wall, <laughs> you know, so they're right there. Um, but it's through that, it's through a whole wall though. But in any case, let's go ahead and uh, I don't want to yell. It looks like the uh, volume's pretty good, like this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Hopefully not. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that down. All right. I think I can move this up and then nobody will see it. Okay. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. That's how we'll do it. Just like that. All righty. So let's move this over and then we'll do uh hello there. My name is Chris Palmer in today's how to get backlinks video. What I'd like to share with you is one, two, three, four, five, six, different links, including some redirect.gov backlinks, including the one that you can see right now. So of course, I don't want to waste any time. Let's get directly into the links. So the very first one that I'll go ahead and share with you is going to be onlinemanuals.tx.gov. Now, if you take a look here, you can see that there's help URL status go.html question mark URL, and then you have this domain. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do you get these indexed? How do you get them to stick? And that'll be a secondary element that I'll go ahead and add in. Now, if you're under the impression that, hey, maybe these probably don't stick, or maybe sometimes they, uh, you can't get them to index, that's actually not the case. You know, if, if you take a look, and, and I have plenty of examples, if you go and look at um, well, I don't want to out them, right? <laughs> but if you go and take a look at any of those sites that were perhaps utilizing those types of Google links um, or any other redirects, the process is, is relatively simple. First and foremost, you need to utilize a indexer or maybe you have your own indexing system. Whatever the case may be, you want to utilize a system in which you're going to be building links to it and or you can utilize like an Omega or something that's building links like a speed links. You can check out Omega or if you have your own system, you can utilize that. Now, as, with that being said, if you're utilizing your indexing system or using, say, a speed links or an Omega. The next step is with automation. If you build it to this link, other links containing this URL to where it can get recrawled. Plus, you're adding it into, say, your own indexing system where you're going to build a link to it anyway, or maybe an Omega or a Speed Links, which these are the two that I've tested and I utilize and I use. You can do this quite simply. Let me walk you through that process briefly. So, if you go to Omega Indexer, okay, let's just let me just sh share with you what I mean. So, Omega Indexer has, has been a long, a fan favorite amongst SEOs. Um, we'll go ahead and log in here. I'll just share with you what it looks like. I haven't been in here in quite a while, actually. But what we'll do is here, I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. All you'll simply have to do, it's so easy. I think it's been a while since I was in here. So live indexers, 280. What we're going to do is you just come right inside of here. Go inside your campaigns. You'll just click on new. You'll come up to here, right? You'll take that URL, okay? You'll copy it. You bring it back over here and all you have to do is drip feed days is one campaign name is going to be uh, backlinks. We'll just call it backlink campaign. Okay. Here's our URL. We'll go ahead and do one and come down here. Uh, we'll go in here to our next one. Uh, let me just grab that next one. All right. And we'll see how this works. Okay. Uh, here's another one where we have it coming into another domain. And then this is the second share of the redirects that I want to share with you. Stick with me. I have more EDUs. Just bear with me here. But this is sc.districtcouncils.gov.hk forward slash s forward slash and then go ahead and add in your URL. Now that's what we will do. We will go in here and we're going to add it into the 
uh, quote unquote indexer will scroll down and then you just simply hit submit. This will run its course. The next course of action would be, of course, utilizing an automation tool, something that's near and dear to my heart is GSA. You can easily use SEO Autopilot, SE Nuke, uh, uh, X Rummer, whatever you want. It's completely up to you. You could do mass blast utilizing maybe a scrape box tool within comments. But with that said, let's move into the third link. And what that link is going to be is going to be lifewest.edu forward slash register. Uh, now, I don't want to point out these links on these pages because I have live links on these pages. Plus, I build on these sites. Um, for particular clients that might be in medical spaces or, you know, requiring .edu links. But with that said, if you've ever looked at my backlink profile, you'll probably find this one. Um, but if you come inside of here and you were to fill out the details, let's just say, for instance, you were going to do maybe a student, one, two, three, maybe an email. Uh, what I would do is probably come in here. Let's see what the flavor is. So temp email. We'll just go through this process briefly. Let's scroll on down here. Uh, how about this one? Okie dokie. So this one looks pretty good. Let's just uh, grab that. Uh, I, I think for some of these emails, though, um, you'll have to use like a Gmail or something along those lines. I don't recall. Um, for a lot of these, you have to have a .edu email. How I purchase those is I just go right over to eBay and buy them. Okay. Um, there's a lot of vendors on eBay that offer them, uh, and that's where a lot of times I'll just go and buy them. Um, so a helpful hint for those that are trying to set these up. So with that being said, we will set up a password. We're just going to do one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, I won't, I won't share with you the last code, but we will go in here. You might need a uh, .edu in order to do this. But as a helpful hint, if you're building edu and .gov links, you know, some of the sites that will say, hey, you can't do that. If you have simply an edu email, all right, trying to get into an edu site, sometimes it'll just block it. You can use other .edu emails in order to uh, commandeer these types of backlinks, create these profiles, create posts on these accounts. A lot of them, it's just checking for that Shh, between us. All right. With that being said, we'll keep moving on here. Uh, I just want to walk you through this process. I won't do that on all of them. I probably won't even finish this, but here's that link there. I want to make this a relatively short video, but that's how you will go ahead and get that particular one. You'll have the email sent. Let's go over here. Let's just double check this. Here's the PHP, uh, wplogin.php. Here's our key. Uh, that's interesting. We'll go ahead and go open. We'll come into here. Here's our password. Okay, copy. Uh, I actually want to do a... Okay, yeah, talk to me into it. Save the password. <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. That's fine. Okie dokie. Now we're right inside of there. There's our password. We're going to come back over to here to our email uh here it is to set the password visit here student one two three so what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to this particular domain do, 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 do. where is it uh oh i have it here so what was it student one two three we have our unique new password and we will sign in all right now once we are in we are a lifewest.edu member now uh you know, uh, that's that's up to you now, but you can go come inside of here um, and then drop your links. All right, so let's move on, though. Let's keep this video short. You can create a profile, uh, so that's going to be one of the items that you can do. Along with that is if you come inside of here and you start checking out the jobs, classifieds, start weaving your way through the events, um, you'll be able to get a, quite a few links pointing to some pages through here. But... Uh, that's just between us. Moving on to the next. So portal.abcnash.edu. 
again, another fun link. So if you come in here, you're going to go to threads period ASP ID equals 4497. Now this ID you might want to take off, but you're inside the forums. This is just one that I had. What you'll want to do is come over here to the right hand side. I'm signed in as a guest, but you're going to want to go ahead and create an account, but you can uh, create yourself a little post in here. Um, there are other places you can go. Um, you don't have to just post on here. You could post inside of another one. So you can go ahead and leave your link inside of here. Um, also find other pages. I'll give you another helpful hint when building out these types of sites or these types of links. What I like to do is you come into here. I'm going to give you another helpful hint for building the most powerful .edu and .gov web, web links or any type of link for that matter where, where you're just dropping it. What you do is this. You do a site colon, okay? You're going to do a control V. And what you're looking for, okay? Here, let me share with you this. What you're looking for is this. So when I come in here and I do a search and we figure out, um, uh-oh, and we figure out when we're inside of here, we can see that their most prominent page, okay, is the login. So what you're looking for is other pages that are contained within the site that are already indexed. All right, so that's step one. Once you find that, the next step that you want to double check is you come into here and you search for the cache, okay? If you're finding a page that has been recently cached, that would, that would, that would, you know, uh, it, What's the word I'm looking for? That would like suggest that this page is consistently being crawled and cached, which means your link is going to get seen, crawled, cached, indexed. We already know it's in the search results. Uh, enough said there, right? So this is a great way to figure out not only the best page, but the page that's getting crawled the most. If it's getting crawled consistently, that means that it's a valuable page to Google, which means it's going to be a valuable link for you in most cases, if it fits within your, your link graph, right? So let's move on to the next link. I'm trying to give as much info as I can here. Uh, this next site is tcgsschool.edu.in uh, lms-login. You will want to go ahead and sign up. You'll need a login password, an email, password again, and then select your information. Again, this is an edu.in, okay? So this is a foreign edu link, still holds credibility, still holds value. You can check it out for yourself. I already have a link on this particular platform, but let's keep moving on here. And I have another one for you. How about edvision.edu.pk? If you take a look at the URL string here, you can figure out how to go ahead and acquire this link. Please take the time to take a look here. But what you're looking for here is the registration, okay? As you can see here, you will want to register an account, and then you'll be able to get links like this, okay? So that's why I'm showing you this. Okay. So here you go. And you can create maybe some relevant content post on a wall between us. Let's keep going on here. One last one, one little tidbit. This is like a, a wiki type page. You know how sites what might have mini forums uh, or a little mini uh, communities built within. I find these all the time. These are the types of footprints that I love because you know, this is what I'm looking for, right? Because a lot of these older type sites and these 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 types of sites, they do this. They do it a lot. So uh, what what you can do on this particular page, which is charma.uprm.edu, and this is a TW Wiki or a T Wiki. Uh, you can come inside of here and have yourself a little uh, looky looky loo. Um, you will want to go out ahead and fill out these details. You'll be able to create an account here, which is going to be a profile. As you can see in here, uh, you'll create your profile. You can put your, your link in here, but you can also make posts within here, kind of like this last link that I showed you. So what we, what we did here today is one, two, three, four, five, six, six overall links. Okay. I believe that it was four actual edu links two redirects i covered ways to find the best link opportunities like how to get them indexed quickly i shared other tips on how to go ahead and keep them indexed how to build the links how to find them how to find the best page to place a link if you can place a link my name's chris palmer if you have any other questions related to backlink building link building seo 
digital marketing, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, anything, feel free. Go ahead and ask in the comment section below. Check us out on seomastermind.org and I look forward to seeing you in the next how to create, how to build, and how to get backlinks video. Have a wonderful day.